So today I'm doing this makeup look and this is actually the makeup look from yesterday mixed with a makeup look from a week ago or maybe it was two weeks ago. I, I'm not looking at my Instagram right now. But I'm going to show you how to do both of those looks. So it's kind of like a two-in-one kind of makeup look. It's very easy, very neat, very like, I don't know, clean makeup, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's kind of been my everyday makeup. It is so easy. When I say easy, just very easy. <laughs> um, and it's perfect for anybody that wants to do sort of like a smudgy wing liner because it's actually kind of foolproof in that like you don't have to be super neat with your wings and make them completely even because we're going to kind of smudge them. And that's what I love about it because if you're like me and you sit there forever with liquid liner and you're just trying to make them as perfect as possible, it's kind of hard to cheat it and make it look like they're even when they're not because liquid liner is so black and so is gel liner. So this is kind of an alternative for if you want to do the wing liner one day but you don't have the extra time to sit there and perfect it, then I definitely recommend trying this look. It is it's just been my go-to. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let me know anything you want to see next, especially in my fitness series, and I will do that for you. So let's jump to it. So before we get started, let me just show you. I did that to my arm with my new me curling iron. So thanks, new me. I was like watching Wyatt Rough House around the apartment, and I'm like, stop it. Stop. So that's how that happened. So we're gonna first start with our eyebrows on that note. So I'm gonna take the spoolie on the other side of my Anastasia Browers pencil. So it looks like this. And we're just gonna comb these things. You know, eyebrows are never quite the same. This side grows like a little bit more feathered in the front, which I like. I wish this one did that. So sometimes I'll try to push this one out. This one really just wants to be more neat. Other than that, I've been letting them be very natural. That's kind of been my whole look lately. So we're going to first start with tinted brow gel. This one is by Benefit, and I'm in the color medium. This is how I've been doing them. I want them to be more natural looking instead of just like sculpted in. I hate when girls do that. I hate the way that that looks. Like the perfect, I, I can't even talk about it. So I'm just going to do that. So see all the little gaps there? I would normally color that in with my pencil, but doing it with a tinted brow gel, it's just like, it makes it more natural. It's like less sculpting. So that's exactly why I'm using this because less sculpting as possible is what I've been liking. So there. So now that's like coloring that in. On days that I'm not even filming, I'll just do this and that's it. Okay. So now I'll go in with my brow whiz and just like little areas that I think like this eyebrow needs to be just like a little bit darker so at the ends this one too just at the ends I'm just using a very light hand okay, so the next step after eyebrows I've been going in with my eye primer and this one is by MAC and it's painterly they have a few of these so you can get whatever color works for your skin tone and this is so much better than concealer. I was always going in with concealer on my eyes because it's just, it's easier and it's one less product. And I like my makeup to be easy, but this really does take away all the veins and all the redness and it's a little bit on the dry side, which I like because my eyelids can get oily and then it like rubs off everything that I put on throughout the day, like not right away. So now I'm gonna go with my Naked 2 palette. This is just what I've been using because the black that we're gonna use is from this palette. So I've just been using colors in this. And I'm going to mix, I can't even see, okay, Chopper, see that, and Half Baked. And I'm using a Sigma E54, and it's thin and flat, so it's perfect for the lid. On Snapchat, I'm like never wearing makeup. I just, I feel very confident like that. Every boyfriend I've ever had including Jared, including every boyfriend I've met with no makeup on, nothing. Not like a no makeup makeup look, like not even that, like nothing. It's just, it just goes to show you don't have to throw a bunch of stuff on your face to attract somebody. You know, you have to just do it for you because at the end of the day, guys don't even really notice. So whatever you do, we have to make sure you like it, not what somebody else likes. And then I've just been going in with MAC Cork because it's not 
it's not really an anything color. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just a very nice neutral for the crease, and that's all I've been doing. Just those colors, and that's it. And I'm using an E40 blending brush by Sigma. I really recommend this brush because you can use it for everything. I'm just putting it in the crease and then extending it to the end of my brow. So wherever the end of your eyebrow is, I just think is the most flattering. Okay, so now is the fun part, and I just want to sharpen my pencil a little bit more. You want to make sure for what we're going to do now, you have a sharpened pencil because it's going to help. This is Bobbi Brown Jet, my favorite eye pole ever. I got this one free with a Sephora gift, and now I'm actually going to be repurchasing it. Okay, so I really hope I don't mess up now that I'm filming, because I've been doing this every day, and it's been coming out very nice, but of course when you're filming, not always. Okay, so... Maybe I should explain before I do it. I'm gonna stick the pencil right here, right where my bottom lash ends and my top lash ends. So right in that like little space, I'm gonna put the pencil right there and go up. Okay, so now I've done this technique on my channel before, but we're gonna do it again. So now I'm just going to do eyeliner on the top of my lid. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the E15 by Sigma, and it's an eyeliner brush, pretty much. And see how thin that is? I think it's technically called a flat, yeah, it's called technically called a flat definer, but you can use it to get, like, way under the lash line or to smudge, like, what we're going to do. So now I'm going to go in with Blackout by Urban Decay in the Naked 2 palette, and I'm going to take a little on a little off and I first start a little I just put a little bit of the product there to get a little bit off because you don't want it to be too dramatic on the wing or else the powder's gonna go I've done it before if you just throw straight powder onto the wing not not good so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dot it like like a stamp boom So as you can see, you kind of have like a effortless, kind of looks like you made it with powder wing. I, I like the way it looks. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And when you're done doing that, I'm going to take a little bit more powder on my brush. And we've done this technique before. We're just going to smudge this. So now, as you can see the difference, so this eye has been smudged and this one hasn't, just the wing on the side. Um, but just look at the top part. It's like that smooth, powdery kind of look, kind of like if you look at Cindy Crawford pictures or Bridget Bardot and you kind of see like the, it almost looks like their whole eye has black eyeshadow, but then you see a tiny bit of shimmer or a tiny bit of a light matte color. That's the look we're going for. Just watching Dirty Dancing, so that's what's in my head right now. Oh, babe. So now I'm just going to clean up any fall out. Okay. So now I'm going in with my favorite primer. This one is by Estee Lauder, and it's the Illuminating Primer. Another primer I love, but it makes me break out, is the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Oh, I love the way that looks. It's so pretty, but it, it makes me break out. I'm going to go in with Becca Moonstone. So this is the same as the powder and the creams that she has, the same highlighters, except it's liquid, so it looks like this. I'm just going to put this underneath my makeup. See, we just look like we left a spa. I love the way that that looks. It's just so, like I just got a facial kind of a look. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a very full coverage foundation. This is a Sigma F80, by the way. So what I like to do is see how far I can move this product around my face so that I can use the least amount as possible because I try not to use a lot. Um, and that's also why I went in with the Becca Skin Perfector because it's gonna kind of give the illusion of skin underneath, like that glowing natural look that healthy skin has. But this is still gonna cover up my redness and the current pimples that I have. 
but I just don't like the look of cake face. The, the look that is really in, in the makeup world right now, that beat your face kind of look, I don't like that kind of makeup. So I try to use as little of this as possible. I'm gonna go in with concealer. And this one is by Makeup Forever. It's their full coverage concealer. And I'm using the shade four since I didn't self tan. When I self tan, I use a darker shade. I'm not going to use too much because it's very full coverage. Okay, so before we set that with powder, we're going to go in with one more liquid cream product. And this is Opal by Becca, but this is the cream version. So they have a powder on my cheekbone. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend that all in. See? We're just bringing the dew back a little bit more. I love the way like a dewy cheek looks. Just want to bite it. Okay, and we'll just blend it all in. Okay, <sighs> gotcha. You're mine now. So I'm gonna go in with Laura Mercier Brightening Concealer Powder. I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender and just powder that up. Okay, so I recently got two new bronzers. Not that I needed them. But I am obsessed. Okay, so this one is Laura Mercier Matte. I love it. I think this is an old one. I don't think it's new from what the lady was telling me. I think she said this is like one of their old school ones. Wait till the world finds out about this. Or if they already did. I just feel like sometimes old products we forget about. And then this is Matte Give Me Sun. And I can't believe I never owned this. I've tried to get it a bunch of times, but they're always sold out. I'm going in with a large powder brush by Sigma. This is F30. Now we're going to go on top of that with MAC Give Me Sun. So this is the blush highlighter duo I've been using recently and this one's by Mally. It looks like this and you have this pretty gold color and then a peachy pink. So I think that's actually, it's called um, Effortless Peach Blush. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of that. That's the blush, by the way. So now I'm going to take a fan brush. This one is from Target, and this is Sonia Kushik. And I'm going to take that gold color. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. All right, so now that I just did my hair, now we can go in with some mascara, and then with the exception of lips, like whatever you decide to do as a lip color, this was yesterday's look. It was so easy. That's it for the eyes. Now, if you want to do it like how I did in the other picture, what you would do is you would then take this pencil brush again, or no, <laughs> eyeliner brush. Okay, so we're just going to bring some of the black under our eyes. Telescopic for the lower lashes. This is Boldly Bare by MAC. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!